I'm gonna remake a video that I did in uh, 2012, so it's been a while, um, and it's about cleaning up overlapping roofs. Um, and this can happen if you have a dormer or you, if you just have a second level that's got an additional roof. So we'll kind of go through those steps. Um, in the original video, I only cut one of the roofs. In reality, you'd probably need to cut both because we're gonna be coming into that upper area and we don't wanna do that either. So, um, I'm not going to attach my walls right now. I'm going to use this um, same model to do some design option videos. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And we'll just go on to cleaning up these roofs. So if I go to my site plan, you can see that this roof is overlapping this one. And I actually want these two to kind of blend in together. So if I look at the properties, I can see that it's tied to the roof level. And I want to, I'm just going to physically move it down. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I already drew a section. Let's take a look. Yeah. So I'm going to go to a section view. So you'll probably need to create one. I'm going to select the roof and I'm just going to physically move it down. You don't want to nudge it. You don't want to drag it. We want to move it from this corner, that intersection of that edge. So I'll just type in SE so I get there for sure. And then I'm just going to go straight down until I intersect with this. So now they're aligned. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to cut out that, that portion. Okay, so we got things lined up the way we want them. Now we're going to go in and we're going to trim out parts of this roof so that it's not overlapping the other part. So if I take a look in 3D, you can see what I'm talking about. It's kind of all through that other roof and we don't want that. So I'm gonna to go to my site plan, mostly because it's a nice way to see the whole top of the building. Um, you can see I've got some walls that were attached and, or not attached and I moved this down. So um, let me just go ahead and attach these. Okay. And now I'm just gonna create a vertical opening. So not a shaft because I don't wanna go through this other roof. I just wanna go through this one. So we'll do a vertical opening, select what we want to place the opening in, and then you're going to probably use a combination of the pick tools and the lines, so drawing the lines. So I'll pick what I can in here. I can't really pick this one, and I can't see that one. I could set it to wireframe, um, and I could see those things. Wireframe's kind of messy. Um, so I can pick this one. But I still don't have the right, is this the right line? Let's set it back to grayscale, or shaded, sorry. So I actually want this line. So I'm just gonna draw this line. So I'm gonna go to that intersection, and then I'm just gonna go straight down over here. Then I'm gonna trim this up. So we want these to be cleaned up, these to be cleaned up. And then we'll go ahead and finish. And you can see that we've cleaned up all of that overlap on, on this particular roof. Now for, we're still gonna have some cleanup to do on this roof because of this particular building. Okay, so now we're gonna do that same process on this roof, and it's gonna be kind of the opposite of what we did on the first one. So instead of cutting out here, we wanna cut out under here to the walls. So we're basically gonna follow around you know, the walls and then to these lines. So I'm gonna do my vertical opening and I'm gonna select the roof and I'll pick what I can. So I can pick these guys real quick. And I can see these walls, so I'll pick them. But I can't see the walls under here, so I'll just set it to wireframe. I don't have a whole lot in here. If you've got a lot of stuff modeled, it's gonna be messy. So I can easily see where my walls are, but if it's harder for you to do that, you might wanna draw reference planes so you have a guideline. All right, so now we'll trim this up. Uh, sky, sky, finish. We'll set this back to shaded. Okay, so now we can kind of see and if I look at my section, you can see that it's cut out. 
I'll also hide this roof so you get a better idea. So let's just temporarily hide this. So you can see that it's cut out. I don't have any floors in here either. So <laughs> this was just a sketch I threw together, you know, for an example. Okay, so let's reset that back to what it was. And then we're gonna attach some walls just to clean things up. Attach it to that. This one we're gonna have to attach twice because we have, need to attach it to this roof and to this roof. So let's do these parts first. Come on, we'll attach. I guess I could have grabbed them all. Attach. And then I'm gonna attach again to this one. So everything's cleaned up. The only part that we have left that is um, bothersome to me, I guess, is that I can still see these lines. So if we join those roofs, roofs, then that should fix our problem. So let's go to Modify, Join. I select the primary element first and then the secondary. So now you can see we don't have that line there and we should be good to go.